Episode 6 of 4 Minutes begins with Wynne and the cops surrounding Tonkla's house to arrest him. However, it is futile as Tonkla has fled. We then cut to the real world and we see everything that happens to the real Great. On the day of the exams, Mani jumps in front of Great's car and after he hits her, he simply flees. As Den and Time watch the news about Mani's death, Den tells him about his research on cardiac arrests. They are interrupted by Time's girlfriend though, who is hurt that he doesn't care about her anymore and breaks up with him. The Surats have dinner and the real great doesn't care that his father has covered up the hit and run. Next, he sees a clip of Title and his girlfriend fighting. However, he is more surprised that Title let Dome record him. At the riverfront, once Dome is killed, Great wonders why Title didn't let his father's thugs do the dirty work. Title simply tells him to help and the two throw Dome's body in the river. Great is worried they will get caught, but Title assures him they won't. However, Great is still shaken by Dome's death and is in no mood to party with Title. Title also notices that his car dash cam has recorded them and takes out the memory card. That night, Great cannot sleep as he is haunted by Mani and Dome's deaths. He heads to the hospital for some meds and Time overhears that Great is a Surat. While leaving, Great bumps into him and Time drops his file. The real Great leaves without helping him pick up the file. An idea forms in Time's head and he follows Great to a bar. He hits on him and Great takes him home where Time surreptitiously plants a spy cam on him. It records them having sex but Time ensures that only Great's face is seen. That night, he uploads a sex tape online. It's all over the news in the morning and Mr. Shrewat is furious. When asked about it, Great is cocky and doesn't seem deterred by it. As for Time, he's worried about his grandmother and sends her to his aunt's place just in time. The Sharats identify him and bring the guy to their headquarters. Mr. Sharat is ready to give Time 5 million if he gives up on his revenge. Time initially refuses, but Sharat reveals that his gambling operation was initially founded by Time's parents. He is heartbroken as he takes the money home. Meanwhile, Great shows up at the hospital and makes a scene until Time agrees to have dinner with him. In wanting to get rid of the guy, Time takes him to a street stall and orders the spiciest dish available. Great is unnerved as he cannot handle spicy food yet he continues to eat it amidst coughs. Time is impressed by this but wonders why he is hanging out with him, especially after the sex tape fiasco. Great jokes that Time should have posted it on OnlyFans and made money out of it, but irked by his blasé attitude, Time starts ranting about how the Shrewats deal in shady business and Great is even more amused that Time is fighting with his father. As they head back, Great gets scared by a couple of barking dogs and Time has to hold his hand and lead him away. Time tries to part ways at a metro station but Great doesn't want to let him go. They tease each other before Time decides to stay away from him. Great looks a little disappointed before heading over to Korn's place. Next, we see Nan's storyline as she sends a document to Time and tries to make a run for it. After she's shot, Korn tells Saman to deal with her. A masked Time watches from afar and follows Korn to the bar. We then cut to their fight before Great interrupts. He chases Time out and is the one to pull the mask off. While he's shocked, Time runs off. The next day, Great confronts him, and Time storms off after he is not able to get any answers about Nan. Wanting to help, Great follows Saman until he arrives at the warehouse. He takes on the location and heads in, but when Saman kills Nan, Great panics and runs off. As he calms down, he sees that Time has arrived and is fighting the men who are about to dump Nan's body. Great hesitates before rushing over and ordering Saman to stop. Great dries off with Time, who is angry with him for not helping Nan. Great claims that he was scared, but Time points out that the thugs immediately listened when he showed up to save him. Time calls him a coward and Great lashes back, commenting that Time should die like Nan. He instantly regrets it, but Time walks away. The next day, Time leaks the documents and the cops investigate the Sharats. For Sai's father, Warrit, delays the cops while Korn is furious on learning that Great helped Time escape. At the HQ, Great confronts his parents for being murderers. He tells them to take responsibility and leaves. Mrs. Sherat follows him and begs him to apologise, and we get her monologue on doing whatever it takes to ensure Great wasn't treated like an illegitimate child. While conflicted, Great refuses and heads home. As he enters the elevator, Tonkla arrives and shoots him, which is where episode 6 of 4 minutes comes to an end. Not only does episode 6 take a shocking plot twist and run with it for a whole chapter, it's also very technically well done and it ties up with all the little incidents in the previous episodes that we had previously disregarded, such as Great's panic attack in the elevator and the sound of the gunshot, and wraps it up into this shocking conclusion to this chapter. All the little things fake time does, such as chasing Great because it's love at first sight, taking him on a nice date, 
revealing himself after attacking Korn and running to save Great when he is assassinated are all what Great wishes the real time had done. And we were right, really, about the future vision simply being what happened in the real world and a dying Great wanting to fix them. It also seems his regrets include wanting to patch up with time and being a better person. It's also worth probably apologising to the writers here for berating them about rushing Great and Time's love story and making it unrealistic that Great would go out of his way to betray his family for a man he's just met. None of that actually happened but it is what Great wished had happened once he started catching feelings for Time. It also tells us a whole lot more about the Surratt family dynamics as Korn is not at all gentle and kind like Great wished he was. His father does not pay off Time to stay away from Great because he cares for his son and he wishes he could have mended things with his mother by taking a bullet for her. It also makes sense why Great's best friend is a literal murderer. It's because Great is messed up as well. Tonkler really should have made him suffer before shooting him, but we can't really truly hate Great as the first five episodes are all part of his redemption arc. Kudos for creating such a complex and morally great character. As for Tonkler actually shooting Great, it's reasonable to assume he probably got his hands on a dashcam footage before killing Title. But now that the show is veering away from sci-fi to a straightforward thriller, can he really see and hear the dead? Or was that just a red herring? I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching and do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like or subscribe to the channel, your support is very much appreciated. I'm Greg Wheeler and from all of us over here at The Review Geek, we'll see you on the next video.